Hi, I'm Tony Itoro. Welcome to this episode of Better Living with Itoro. I'm with my friend Tom from DCS. We're here to talk about grilling. Yes, we are. And uh, Tony, thanks for the sunny day. I haven't seen one in uh, eight weeks, but uh, you do a grilling event, you bring out the sun. It's thanks. a perfect day for grilling outside. So tell us about the DCS grill. Wow, what's great about the DCS grill, you're showing the 48 inch DCS grill here. Uh, you know, we were the inventors for the professional grill. We brought it from commercial grade down to the residential so they can get that high sear on the steaks. You know, you can do rotisserie, but Tony's showing the new uh, hybrid version, which gives you the capability of doing charcoal or wood chips and baking on top. So it gives you a lot, a lot of flexibility for doing different types of cooking in there. So we're talking a lot more than just cooking hot dogs and hamburgers. Absolutely. You can use it for everything. Right. It, I know with the top grate there, uh, one of the demos we did, we cooked cornbread in the top of the grill to go with your ribs and beans and stuff like that. It was awesome. Yeah, it, it's neat because it has that, uh, the top has a baking capability that you would have in your oven. So you can do cornbread, brownies, you could fill it with water and do corn on the cob or your hot dogs for the kids. It has a lot more options to do in cooking that nobody else does, so it's great when you're showing it. Yeah, a lot more than my father's uh, barbecue from years ago when we just <laughs> did hot dogs and hamburgers. So That's right. You, it's like an outdoor kitchen. We do everything out here. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the nice thing is uh, uh, this product has lifetime warranty on the, on the entire uh, surfaces. Um, it offers some unique things, too. It's like uh, ice storage below so you can do uh, keep your... Uh, Beers or uh, uh, soft drinks inside, nice and cold, so you don't have to run inside while you're cooking. It gives you that flexibility. And then extra storage up top, and then your tank over here. So it gives you a lot of options Beautiful. for doing uh, wow. a wide variety of things. And then uh, there's extra racks here for more storage. For it gives you a lot of room to keep everything here so you're not running back and forth into the house. You know, it's kind of hard to show on film, but it's amazing the quality of the of the glides and the racks. Yeah, it, it's, it is heavy duty and uh, it's something you're typically not going to see in uh, uh, the pro uh, carts out there. So, so uh, another thing to talk about, a lot of times I'm grilling, it's always dark outside. So it's got some great lighting in here. It has some extra lighting above on the hood. So when you're cooking at night, you can see everything. Yeah. And you know, uh, some of the guys, a lot of guys use the halogen off to the right, yeah. but at night it kind of changes the color of the food. Mm -hmm. So that's why we added the lights up here. So when you looking directly down, it gives you that true, you know, yeah. visual of what your food's looking like when you're cooking. So uh, we added that extra set. Boy. Anybody realize how nice this is starting to smoke up while we're talking about it? <laughs> and, and I'm trying not to reach in and grab Exactly. It. I wish you could smell this. It's amazing. Right. So uh, speaking of how it cooks and how it smells, we have our chef here, Dan Cardos from Oren Oak uh, from Stratford. He loves cooking on the DCS grills. I can't wait till you start putting some charcoal and some wood on here. We'll be smoking up some things. I see you're starting with the ribs. What are you doing here? We're just going to braise them slow and low up there. We got some beer and we're just letting them go really low. The ambient heat coming up. And then once we put the chips on and the wood, it's going to just provide a whole nother like smokiness to it. Cook them really, really slow. And then we're going to sear them on the really hot grill. Yeah. What's nice with some of these cooking grates, one side is made for like fattier or greasier meats. So the fat just tr channels down and it doesn't uh, burn the food. If you want to turn it over for a really great sear on a steak, you can do that too. Right. And we also make it so you can angle it too. So if you want the drippings to come down, because we have a great grease management system yeah. right in front of the grate so it all drops down into the, uh, the trap underneath here. So, yeah. uh, you know, whatever way you want to do it. For vegetables, you know, you do the, the arch edge of it or the meats, you know, you want to keep the juices in there. Uh, it, it, it will contain underneath the meat and keep adding more juice yeah. and flavor into the meat. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. I, I cook a lot of sausage on the grill, yeah. so I'll angle it up so that the grease goes right down. It doesn't flare up as much, but right. you still get the flavor. Um, I will tell you, I use it flat when I'm doing my uh, bone-in ribeyes. You know, <laughs> I love cooking like a two or three inch bone-in ribeye. A couple minutes on each side, and then I'll move it over to a lower temperature. It's amazing. The, the temperature management is amazing on this. You know, that, that's the best part about this grill is uh, we use the ceramic rods all the way across there. I mean, it's 25,000 under each burner, so that's 100,000 burners altogether. But because of the ceramic rods, it's a great productive heat, whichever direction it goes. And we have tubular uh, rods going front to back, so you have searing capability across the whole size of this, right. so it gives you a lot of flexibility. And then you can add in the 18,000 
uh, sear burner or uh, infrared in the back, so you got 118,000. So this is commercial grade yeah. cooking for the resident. And compared to some other grills, some other grills you have to order a sear burner. This thing, you can do it on every burner. Exactly. So, exactly you know, right. if you want to sear on half of it or all of it, if you want to do a low temperature, a yeah. lot of, you know, a lot of times I, I will sear and then move it over to a low temperature because I want that steak to be medium rare. Yeah, and that, that's what a lot of people like is each of the zones, you can have different temperatures. So uh, you could do that high sear and then move it over to keep it warm or keep something cooler down on the end. So you have adjustment on all four of those uh, burners underneath there. So it gives you flexibility. Dan and I love cooking together, and I know you love cooking on this grill. Man, this thing is unbelievable, Tone. I mean, so not only is the grill just can do everything, will do everything, but what we got going on today is some beautiful rotisserie chickens, nice and slow. We're gonna let them just roast to get a beautiful, beautiful sear on there, right? And then what we got up top is some ribs going up here. We're just cooking them in some beer with some barbecue sauce and some beautiful spices. We're gonna, go, we're gonna let them go and just really, really go, get nice and slow. And uh, once they get to fall off the bone, you know, uh, fall off the bone uh, consistency, we're gonna throw them on the grill and sear them up real nice, get them crispy. We're gonna throw some burgers on there. I mean, this cool. thing could literally do it all. This isn't a grill, this is a kitchen. This right. is an outdoor kitchen. That's the key thing, it's an outdoor kitchen. It's unbelievable. You can set different temperatures. You have four different burners, all different temperatures. I, as I said before, I love to sear on one side, then slow cooking on the other. And this one's set up in the hybrid mode. We're gonna be cooking with charcoal and wood, which yep. most grills can't do that. Yeah, you know, so we'll put the wood chips on in a little bit, and they'll add to the smoky component in the ribs, and really just, dude, it's gonna be unbelievable. You could also bake in this top shelf here if you want. We're gonna put some veggies over here later on as well, once our chickens get a little further along, and everything will be ready at the same time, and you're gonna to wanna to be here. I know. And it also makes it, you want to stay out here too, because you can, you can put all your beverages inside, you know? <laughs> it's not bad, Woo! it's not bad right here. A lot of storage, put all your utensils and tools in here. And another big thing with DCS is the lighting, okay? You have a great lighting system here, plus two lights up top, because when you're cooking outside, you know, summertime we have a lot of daylight, but wintertime, I cook on this all year round. I don't stop. You know, if I'm gonna cook a nice steak, I'm not cooking it inside, right, okay? I'm right. gonna cook it out here. Well, look how this is browning up. That's oh beautiful. God. Unbelievable. And yeah. I mean, this thing does the work for you. It really does. You season your chicken, you put them on the rotisserie, you hit the button and they just go. That's what's nice. A lot of times when I entertain, you do that, you can spend time with your guests. You don't have to stay here the whole yeah. time flipping things yeah. and stuff like that. But, well, I just wanna say thank you for being here today. It's the most perfect day. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful hot, sunny, and uh, I just want to welcome you again. You know, good luck with your restaurant, thank Orin you. Oak. Yeah, Everybody check us loves out. it. Orin Oak in Stratford. Dan, thank you, <laughs> and thank you for joining us for another episode of Better Living with Itoro. Itoro Appliance, 401 Westport Avenue in Norwalk.